Destiny. This is the Human Challenge Project. Today, I found this little hummingbird. And I believed when I found it that my actions killed this hummingbird. This was the story that came into my mind because a hummingbird is this totem of playful expression and this morning I was feeling really really playful and I'm in Los Angeles now I just moved yesterday from Ojai so it's a big change for me and I was just feeling like oh, all of this change is happening and like that need, like a really, really strong need to play. And the only person I had to play with is Andrew, my partner. So we were playing and playing and I started getting more into my inner child and she's coming up with all of her fears and yeah, really just fears being in this new big place and just feeling like that need to play. I kept saying, I need you, I need to play, I need to play, I need to wrestle and play. And all he really wanted to do was go do yoga. So he played with me a little bit and it was really fun and it still wasn't enough for me to feel comfortable and I kept feeling like abandonment and like it wasn't okay to play every time you'd be like, I need, to, I need to go do yoga, I need to do my practice. Come with me, come with me, he'd say. Come do yoga, you'll feel better. And it like put me into this state of maybe feeling like, maybe feeling like I did as a little child, that there was always something else to be doing other than playing something that the adult mind wanted to do instead of being playful and fun and expressive and it also put me into this story of always feeling alone like I didn't have anyone to play with I was an only child and my mom would leave and go to work in the morning and I was all by myself like a lot and I have little journals and, I, and the journals talk about feeling so alone and like there's nobody to play with and a lot of that came back today so I reluctantly went and did the yoga practice and it was nice and then when I got finished I found this little hummingbird and I felt like it was because of this little tantrum I threw about not wanting to um, do yoga wanting to play instead and I'm forgiving myself now I did not kill this beautiful little being this is here to remind me that how important it is to play like if we don't play we die there's nothing to live for if we can't find a playful quality to life and so I thought this was over and I was but it was still like something brewing in my system and like not wanting to be around Andrew feeling like he was so I don't know, I don't even have a word for it, but I just was totally close to him, like, he doesn't want to play with me? Fine, I don't want to play with him either. So, he was feeling this, and we were having lunch together, and I started talking, and it started coming out more of this inner child of feeling like that he's judging me for wanting to play, and I'm projecting this on him all the time, like, it's not okay for me to play. You think it's just, he says her, like he's talking to my inner child. What does she need? Da, 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 da. And thinking like, and he said today, talk from your high self. Like, see where you are, talk from your high self. And I was like, this is my high self. I have to become peaceful with this part of myself because if I'm not, then I'm, I'm fragmented, and a fragmented self is not a high self. We don't function from a higher place of being and talk down to other people. We function from our fullness 
we are integrated, multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, dynamic, changing beings. And a huge part of me is this playful child who actually has a need to play and who has a need for a playmate, a partner to play with. So I don't feel alone. And so all of this has a root. And what the root is is that I felt this a lot as a child and why it's still present is that I'm still feeling it because I have a lot of self-judgment about feeling this way and feeling needy and I, I am forgiving myself and this is a testament to that. I'm sharing today, I am forgiving myself for being a playful being who has an actual need in this physical human form to play and to have love and to love. So I guess what I'm coming to now is this question of, well, how can I not be miserable and sad when I don't have anyone to play with? How can I entertain myself? How can I take the pressure off of Andrew? He said I kept like leeching into him and hooking him with my energy. And I was, I could feel it. I'd start crying and I could feel myself because he'd come right back. And I would do this as a child also. I'd start crying, crying when someone wouldn't play with me and they'd come right back and be like, oh, don't cry, little angel. Oh, and so how can I play with myself? How can I enjoy myself without having that need? Ooh, that was a good catch. Without having that need for someone else because that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody else, especially my partner, my boyfriend, the, my, the love of my life. I don't want to put that pressure on him. I want to take it off and be like, hey, do your thing. You don't feel like playing today? It's cool. I can play by myself. I'm fine by myself. <sighs> I don't know yet. I, I guess I'm just going to open up to the space of like, I don't know. How can I be with myself and not feel totally alone? Hmm. I don't know. I know I can use the power of my breath and calm myself by coming inward and watching the movement of my energy up and down my body. I know I can hop in my car on a bike and go to the beach. I know I can have fun, I can enjoy myself. So I'm just right now opening up my, my perception because it's been very one, like, no, this is how, this is the only way I will enjoy myself. If you play with me, that's the only way. It's the only way, no other way, no other way. And so I'm miserable and it's your fault. So I'm, I'm relaxing this right now and coming to this place of, I'm actually okay. It's a beautiful day today. I am in Los Angeles and it's buzzy and I can't really find nature unless I get on the, in the car or on the bicycle and go for a very long bike ride, but there's a tree right here. There's birds. Everything's okay. I just keep telling myself, it's okay, Destiny. You're okay. It's okay that you're having feelings of feeling alone. What would feel good to you right now? Oh, I don't know. Making up a song. Okay. Do so you want to make up a song? <laughs> no. So I'm feeling very shy. The sun, sun shining, even when the clouds pass by, and I look up to the sky and see hope shining from my eye. For another day is turning, and I'm learning something more. That I can soar like the bird in the sky. I can let my worries fly by. And I can be here, be here, peaceful now. I am my own friend. Yeah. I am my own friend. I am. 
and I can move, and I can dance, and I can shimmy up around. I can move. <laughs> good to share to myself. This little device is serving as myself right now. And I'm loving me. I can see my reflection. I'm seeing I love you. You're so sweet and playful and nice. I see I have this little bird gift. I need to kill this bird. This bird was here to help me remember tiny, tiny, tiny little beautiful moments and how important it is to play in life because this life will also expire into something else. So, <sighs> may we breathe fully today and enjoy ourselves and learn how to play with ourselves even though there's no one else to play around and it seems like everyone else is being so serious and so grown up that we can still play. That's okay to play. Removing self-judgment. One little strand at a time. Hmm. I love you.